if f and g are two functions and x is in both domain of f and domain of g, then f of x and g of x are real numbers and therefore we can subtract them, uh, add them, multiply them or divide if g of x is not zero. In this way, for every x that is in common part of domain of f and domain of g, we can form a new function. For example, we can assign to value x, input x, the value f of x plus g of x. This way we have a new function and that new function is called the sum and the, uh, its name is f plus g. In a similar way, we can define the difference, the product and the quotient. Those functions are defined on the intersection of the domain f and uh, g. It means on the common part of the domain and f and g, with the exception of the quotient where we have to make sure that g of x is not zero. So if we have functions uh, in the example f of x is the square root of x and g of x is 1 over x, and then we can say that since the domain of the function f is the set of all x's that are greater or equal 0 and the domain of the function g is the set of all x's that are not 0, the intersection or common part, which is the domain of f intersecting with, uh, with g, is going to be the set of all x's that are positive. Therefore, as long as x is positive, I can form the sum the uh, difference and the product. So in the first part I'm to compute f minus g at 4 and by definition this is f of 4 minus g of 4 and that is square root of 4 minus 1 fourth or 2 minus 1 fourth which is 7 fourths. For the part B, we are to actually find the formula for the uh, quotient f over g. We have to find what is the f over g at any input x. And by definition, this is f of x divided by g of x, which is the square root of x divided by 1 over x. Dividing by 1 over x is multiplying by x, so we have x square root of x. Now, what's the domain of that function? Now, we are allowing here x's that are um, positive, so the domain of f over g is the x's that are positive, so these are in the domain of f intersecting with the domain of g. This guarantees that the value of f and g um, exist, and we have to make sure that g of x is not zero. But if you look at this case, if I want to figure out when g of x is zero, that means one over x will have to be zero. This equation has no solution. And therefore, there is nothing to exclude from our common part. So domain of f over g is going to be just interval from zero to plus infinity. Notice that the function, the formula that I obtain right here for the function f, uh, uh, f over g, x square root of x, has a different domain. Here I could use any x that is greater or equal 0, but in the uh, quotient we have to exclude 0 because for 0 function g of x is not defined.